Hello everybody, this is Dr. Ali Qasim and welcome to my channel. First, I would like to thank my family members, those who subscribe to the channel and those who are going to subscribe. Thank you so much. I am not a physician. I have a PhD in leadership and organizational culture change. I discovered that I have diabetes in 2007. The doctor gave me uh, metformin 500. I neglected, I did not use until 2011, where I had to make another blood test uh, by joining this uh, college. And then they confirmed that I have diabetes. Since 2011 until 2017, I was taking four types of medication. Started first with metformin, then uh, add another one, diamicron, then Trajinta, and then uh, Jardins. Four types of medication. And I had so much trouble from these medications and uh, all the trouble that I had is mentioned in one of my videos. 6 September 2017, I checked my blood sugar. It was 9.8 with these four medications. Why? Because I never take care of what I eat. I never control my food. And my HB uh, A1C was 10.7, double. Shouldn't be this way. And I will make a video about uh, HbA1c for people who wants to know what is it and the complications it can bring if it's still high in the body. So I asked myself, should I go and see the doctor? The answer straight came to my head. He will increase the medicine. He will give me extra medicine, definitely. However, there is one question in my head. Why these medication give no treatment? Suppose this medication will solve the, the problem. It's just like when we take antibiotic. If we take, suppose to solve the problem. But these medications, no. They will keep in increasing and increasing and increasing. My question is why? And I ask this question to my doctor. Why these medications keep increasing? There must be another way. So I search YouTube and I found uh, Dr. Jason Fung. 12 minutes video. I watch. I consider it. Because why I, I had to watch. I learn in this life. It's not what we gain when we watch a video. It's what we miss if we don't. So I watch this video. I discover so many things. That was in 2017. He was the first one I listened to. Then after that, I follow listening to many other doctors who say the same thing. That night... Uh, I was at the hotel, I ordered pizza, but I canceled it. I decided not to eat at all that night to see whether if this man is right or not. 24 hours later, which is the next day, 24 hours of my previous lunch, I, meaning I had lunch that day, I did not take dinner, I only ate the next day one dish of uh, mixed fried vegetable the Chinese way. I had this dish at the airport. And I did not eat anything else until also the next day. The next day when I checked, my blood sugar was normal. Meaning, I understand that I have insulin. I don't need insulin. I don't, I don't need to increase the production of insulin in my body. I don't need all this kind of stuff. What I need is, what I need is to control my diet, the food that I eat. So I decided to eat healthy diet according to what I will study and learn and therefore i studied diabetes and food this is my decision i have to study diabetes and food i need to know what i eat why because i don't want any complication of the blood uh, sugar i don't want cholesterol i don't want high blood pressure i don't want any of these i don't want to ga uh, gain weight I, I i refuse to have this while still gaining weight and having all my medication, eat everything, I had to be enlightened about all this kind of stuff. I have studied almost everything, every food, and these are my references. USDA, Food Standard Agency UK, uh, Food Authority Australia, Harvard University, and Mayo Clinic. I stopped sugar completely. I stopped almost all carbs, not any of the carbs I don't take. And I reduce my fruit to the minimum, to only the fruit that allowed for us to eat. And I decided to stop taking medication since 2017 until now. 
And by the way, I'm not asking you to do the same. I'm not asking you to stop taking medication. And please do not consider this is a, a consultation or, or medical advice. No, please ask or check with your own doctor. Uh, I used to check every day and sometimes I check two, three times a day. Why? So afraid because of what I heard from so many doctors that I dealt with before. And after two weeks, it dropped from 9.8 to 5.4. And since then, until now, it's still between 5.4, 6.4, depending on what I eat. If I eat something high carb or sugar, it will be above six. If not, it will be above uh, five, 5.4, etc. And I lost 27 kilograms of my weight. This is how I look in 2017. And I was 110 kilograms. Wow. <laughs> 110, sometimes 107, but never less than that. This is how I look like. And this is how I look right now. I'm in front of you. I feel better. And, and everything in my life is better. And the whole story is in one video in the channel. As I said, I studied almost everything. And I will share with you everything I learned. I will share with you everything about vegetables. There will be series about vegetables, series about fruit, almost 40 types of fruit, what you can eat, what you can't eat. I will share also uh, legumes, all of them. I will also share spice, milk, uh, eggs, everything I ate. I will share the information about it with you. And remember... My friends, it's not what we gain when we watch a video. It's what we miss if we don't. We should know what we eat and be careful about our health. Why? Because I don't like anybody to increase his blood sugar or her blood sugar. I don't like anyone to get cholesterol or high blood pressure or to gain weight. However, I'm asking always my friends and my followers, are we careful? Most of us are not careful. Most of us are not careful. Sometimes, even though we are still eating, we message or we call the house and we ask what's for dinner. My advice, please stop sugar completely, stop carbs completely and take care of the fruit you eat and try it for yourself and check. See what will happen with you in just two weeks time. And if you like to get better and know more, increase your knowledge about every food you eat, Join the family. Don't hesitate. You will not regret it. Thank you for watching and thank you for being my family and friends. See you in the next video.